what is the current state of housing today? You know, it's kind of a mixed bag, right? There's some that have it all. They've got better homes, better lives than ever before possible. But the vast majority of the world doesn't have that. And that's that's true literally down the street from even where I live. Like there are people that live in tent cities a couple of blocks away from me. So the current state of housing, I, I hate to call it terrible, but for most of the world, it is terrible. The housing industry uses over 50% of all our world's natural resources. Every single building is essentially a prototype. Every single building is a one-off. And so that doesn't really make for a wide, scalable solution. On top of that, our buildings are making us sick. The average home has something like 17,000 known cancer-causing chemicals in it. And it doesn't need to be that way. We can build housing without any known cancer-causing chemicals. We just don't. So what we need is a transformation. We need a, really a paradigm shift around how we build housing to make it affordable, healthy, abundant, and hopefully regenerative. Once we understand where housing is at today, we have to draw a line, a trajectory for the future that shows us what will happen if business as usual continues. The next 10 to 20 years is really going to see a, a change in how climate change affects us. The world's population is going to continue to grow. Things like climate change are going to continue to damage existing housing stock, uh, flood areas in low-lying places like Bangladesh or the Niger Delta. New York, Miami, Mumbai, they're all going to suffer trillions of dollars of loss. And housing is just going to keep getting more expensive, more toxic, more unavailable to more people. We're going to run out of wood, we're going to run out of metal, and we're going to run out of concrete. And if we project that out 10 to 20 years into the future, what we have is a crisis of unimaginable proportions. You think that affordable housing is a crisis now. Imagine when prices have just gone up, supply has stayed stable, and we've got people now moving around the globe impacting some of the already most impacted places on the planet. We're going to be stuck if we don't get some massive breakthroughs. This is where exponential technologies really come into play. Synthetic biology, new discoveries within material science. Large-scale 3D printing of buildings. You've seen those videos on Facebook of one building being built where they're pouring concrete like that. I'm interested in taking that on a mass scale. If you remove the labor, you remove half the cost, and therefore suddenly the building becomes much more accessible to a much wider swath of people. Translucent solar glass. Every window in your house could essentially be a solar producer. If you can produce power and let light through, then that's a total win-win. Most exciting to me is this idea where we tap into the power of nature as a technology and manipulate DNA to grow something. Nature knows how to build strong, resilient, healthy structures. Think about a building where you could take a hook out of the wall and it could heal. A building that could change color with the seasons. A building that could absorb chemicals and off-gas oxygen. A building that processes waste, that filters water, that generates energy just the way nature does every day. If you can do that, we could really transform the world. If the current trajectory of housing seems like we're on a path to do, how do we capitalize on these tools that are at our hands, technology, the crowd, information, and to the core of me, I have not seen a more impressive, more phenomenal, more elegant model than using things like prizes. If you use a prize, if you use an incentive competition, and you say, all right, look, here's a problem, and nobody knows how to solve it. Whoever does it, you guys get rewarded. This is incredible. Like, this literally gives everybody a chance to be the next massive breakthrough that changes the world. XPRIZE has an impressive way of bringing together the right minds, the right stakeholders, the right people, and the right funding to make something happen. There is really not another organization that I can think of that really approaches the future in the way that XPRIZE does, and that's why they were the best partner for Liz to work with to tackle the future of housing. I'm incredibly proud of the fact that XPRIZE is trying to wade into a complicated, difficult, critically important area and ask the world's brilliant innovators to help us find real solutions that truly build what we say we want to build, which is a future that everyone is a part of and is proud of. And that, to me, is why this is such an incredible endeavor and one of the most important things that I think we'll ever do.